Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. My name is Brittany, and this is Olivia, and she is our second daughter. She will be a month old on Sunday, so June 2nd. Um, and today we're going to be doing newborn must-haves for your second baby. A lot of the items are things that I've had with our other daughter, Aubrey, who's three. And then there are a lot of them that are new items that I just discovered with Olivia or didn't work with Aubrey and do work with Olivia. Um, so let's just get right into it. The first thing that I have is a, um, it's called a diaper cream brush. And so it's a little spatula type uh, item that you just rub the diaper cream on and it really makes it so it's not so messy and, and it doesn't get on your hands and um, really stick to your hands and everything. So it's just really easy to put on for um, diaper cream, but I love this. I have, um, I saw them with Aubrey, but we never used them because Aubrey didn't really have diaper rash that much, so we didn't use the cream. Olivia, on the other hand, has needed to have a lot of diaper cream lately. Um, so this was amazing. This was a really great, great, great find. It's the Newbie brand. Um, I got it off of, from Walmart. But you can also get them off of Amazon or I'm sure Target has them. Um, anything like that. But this is a really cool little gadget. And everybody that sees it is like, oh man, that thing is awesome. And it is. So that's a good item. So the next item on my newborn must-haves is a swaddle blanket. This one is from Swaddle Me. It's a Walmart. I've got it from Walmart. And it's just a Velcro swaddle that her legs will go inside it and then it wraps her arms up real nice and snug. And um, this thing wraps them up good. I don't know if you've ever tried to wrap your kid up with a blanket but I know Olivia likes to get her arms out and her arms would come out she would kick out of it and with this one um she's not able to do that there is no way for her feet to come out her arms are nice and, and snug in it and she sleeps so good in this so this is definitely a must-have for newborns um if you like sleep <laughs> so the next thing that I have is a sound machine um, this one is a Munchkin brand. We got it off of Amazon, but I'm sure you can get it at Walmart too if you needed to. Um, but it is, it does sound, it does a projection on the top, and it also has a little night light at the bottom here. Um, and it, it lights up in several different colors and you can even do like the rotating through the colors. This is a really great item to have for, again, for sleeping and having her sleep all the way well, she doesn't sleep through the night, but having her sleep really well at night, um, a sound machine is definitely a must-have for your newborn. This one, again, has a projection. It has a timer on it. There's three different projectors that shoot up to the ceiling, and it's also good for me. She's in our room right now, and for middle-of-the-night feedings and um, changing diapers and things. Oh and changing diapers um the projector really gives off a lot of light so it's nice to have that so that i can see a little bit of what i'm doing instead of turning on a lamp or some other harsh light that might wake her up um and make it harder for her to go back to sleep i love this the next item is something that pretty much every new mother has no matter if you're nursing or formula feeding or anything at all and it is a boppy so this boppy we actually have two of them um we you can get them at walmart you can get them on amazon you can get them anywhere you can probably find a friend who's had a baby and say hey can i have your your boppy or do you have a boppy um the only thing we did with this one is get a new cover but um i didn't even get a new cover with olivia i got the new cover when we had aubrey because the boppy pillow was given to us so um, these are really great to have just to prop your arm up, to for nursing, for um, tummy time. You can put her, your baby, um, you know, face up with tummy time. So this is not just for newborns, but it is something great to have from the beginning. I even took this to the hospital with me to help with nursing and to help with um, sitting the baby up if I needed to and just help in general. So it's just a really good support pillow. I recommend getting the Boppy. I've never tried any of the others, but I'm sure, you know, some of the others would be fine. But 
I just really like the boppy. I like the way it opens up and you can, you know, put it around your waist and make it comfortable for you. Um, I've seen some of the others that have like the buckle behind it and I just don't know if that would be comfortable for me. So, um, I really like the, the boppy. Another one of my items is a car seat cover. Um, I don't have it with me. I left it downstairs, but it's one of those five in one car seat covers. That's like the Jersey knit material. Um, it'll go over the car seat. You can use it for nursing. You can use it for, um, the shopping cart with, um, like putting it putting the seat down in the shopping cart and all of that so that's a really nice thing to have it's really great when they're baby baby newborns and you want to kind of keep people away from getting down in their face it's a good way to just cover them up we had to go a lot of places when olivia was first born because aubrey had um a lot of things that she was doing it's the end of the school year so um, she had a preschool program six days after Olivia was born, so we had to go to that. I wasn't going to miss that um, for having Olivia. So I just put the car seat cover over her, and, you know, nobody really wanted to come and get really close to her. They all wanted to see her, and everybody wanted to see Livy, but um, we were able to just pull the little thing down and had, like, a window instead of having her up. It also keeps the sun out of her eyes and keeps her quiet and if she's asleep we can just cover it back up and you know take her into Walmart or wherever we have to go and it doesn't wake her up so a car seat cover is a definite must the next newborn must have is a wrap and this is just a soft wrap um, you can see it here this is the boba wrap and with it I had that with Aubrey so that's a first kid thing and it's amazing it is so easy once you learn how to do it. I did have to watch a few YouTube videos and learn how to wrap it up. But once you learn how to wrap it up, it's so nice and so easy to use. And Livy loves to sit in it. She's like right here on my chest. So it really calms her down if she needs it. Um, with Aubrey, I wore her all the time with it because Aubrey was a very fussy baby. And so she always wanted to be held. And so I would put her in my wrap and she would fall right to sleep. And I was able to do all of my house chores. I was able to vacuum floors and clean and do anything that I needed to do, have two hands for. Um, I was able to do with the, with the wrap. And Livy, she's a really easy baby, knock on wood. Um, she sleeps a lot, as you can see right now, she's asleep. Um, so she sleeps a lot and she doesn't really need to be held that much. Uh, so I don't really wear her in the house. I more take it out when we're going places. Um, when we look at houses, we are looking at moving very soon. So when we look at houses, I'll put my wrap on and carry her so that we can walk around the house and not have to worry about carrying her big clunky car seat or holding her and her flopping from side to side and, and all of that. So that's what I use it for now, but definitely have it for any reason that you want whether it's to wear her around the house or to wear your baby out and about whatever it is i would definitely get that you can get like the tulas and um other of those soft-sided carriers but a lot of those have to have the newborn insert and they're kind of clunky and bulky and they're not very soft and so i liked having the the wrap for the newborn stage especially I didn't wrap her a whole lot when she got into the three month age, four month age when the Tula, when she would fit in, in a Tula. Um, the Tula is easier for on the go, but like I said, it's just not very comfortable for the baby when they're that little. So um, I definitely use my wrap a lot more when she was a baby baby and I'm using it a lot with, with Olivia like I said. The next item is some sort of swing. We chose to keep the same swing that we had with Aubrey. Um, and it's just a regular swing that you can buy at, um, I guess, Baby, Bye Bye Baby now. Babies R Us is not no longer around, but we got ours at Babies R Us. Um, you can get them at Walmart. You can get them pretty much anywhere that they sell baby items. And it's, like I said, it's just a regular swing. It has a little mobile on it that plays music and um has lights that light up and 
um, all of that. Livy loves to ride in it. She loves to sit in it and swing for a while. Um, Aubrey liked it for a little while, so we didn't use it a whole lot, but again with Olivia, she's a different baby, so she does like to have it and like to use it. Um, so we'll put her in that a lot. We put her in this seat that you can see here. This one is a Fisher Price um, seat. Again, this was one that we had with Aubrey. Aubrey sat in it twice and hated it. So she never sat in it again. And um, I just happened to keep it thinking, well, maybe our second baby would like it. And I'm glad I did because Livy sits in this seat all the time. If she's not in her swing or not in our arms, she's in this in this sweet seat and this seat plays music it has um like nature sounds it also vibrates and it has as you can see this little mobile thing here it doesn't light up or anything but it is something for her to look at and she does like to see it it's pretty close to her eyes so that she can actually focus on it so i do like that and it's very soft on the inside and it's something that I can cart from room to room. I don't have to worry about leaving her up by herself while she's sleeping and content. So I do like that. I wish it was a little bit smaller um, because the base of it is, is wider and it kind of, it has a circle around it. So it's, well, it's good to sit on the ground and it's nice to have for that, but it is just hard moving it from, you know, upstairs to downstairs or anything like that. So I do wish it was a little bit smaller, but I love this seat for Olivia. It is a great, great must have for baby. Okay, the last item that I have is something that I don't normally see on newborn must haves. Um, most of the time people don't really talk about it, but there are mothers out there who formula feed and who formula feed from the beginning. Um, with Olivia, I was not able to breastfeed her. Um, she wouldn't latch very well and she kept losing weight um, even after we went home. And I got to the point where I was fighting with her to nurse more than she was actually nursing. And so I just decided that I needed to do what was best for myself and my baby and that was to formula feed. And with that comes these handy dandy nifty little things here. When you're out and about, you put your formula down in the container and then when you need it, you just take it off. As you can see, it's very easy to do with just holding a baby and everything, which is what I like. You just take your bottle and you dump it in. It's a pre-portioned amount, so you don't have to worry about scooping and taking the whole formula tub with you wherever you go, especially if you're going somewhere really quick and you just need like one or two. These are really nice to just throw in the diaper bag and then go. So that's everything that I have for the newborn must-haves. If you have other items that you love for your newborn, please put them down below in the comments. I'd love to see what everybody else does for their newborns and maybe there's some more stuff that I can get for Livy Lou here. Um, but if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye.